I'm wondering if this looks more like some sort of a sea serpent now and not scary like a shark. I wonder if I put this too far forward or if I need another, another little fin back here, maybe. I don't know. I think I, I, I just need to get to the painting of it because it seems like the more I mess with it, it gets cuter instead of scarier. So, shark birdhouse. All right, one more fin. I don't know. It might look more like a sea monster than a shark now. I'm not sure. So I think it's just time to get on with the really cute painting and hope that um, hope that it gives the idea. If not, I can always cut the fins off and say it's a whale. Or I could paint lots of spots on it and say it's a whale shark, right? A whale shark. I don't know. It looks... It doesn't look very scary. <laughs> it's not a scary shark. Okay, if you hear something loud, it's because it is pouring rain. So I started on the front and kind of got a little bit lost. So I came and did more of the back side and kind of looked like water. And then toward the back, a bit streaming along the back. And I need to do... I need, I need to do... Put your butt down. I need to do... I think some more. I need some more motion here and here. And it's going to be like a whale shark, right? And wouldn't a whale shark have a nice big mouth to, for birds, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, it's looking kind of cute, which is good because I think it needs to look more cute. I'm not sure what I'm going to do along the bottom. I don't know if I need to continue the pattern from the top. I'm not real sure. I'm not real sure which color I'm going to put here. Um, probably purple. I'll probably take the purple from here and go with purple up there with some sort of designs. And um, maybe some of the light green up here as well. Maybe some of the light green. And the, and the you're going to knock every one of them over, aren't you? That's okay. I can pick them up. So that's how it's coming along so far. I am happier with it now that it's finally um, getting some paint and going in the direction that I had in mind. So, wow, it's going to be a shark birdhouse. It really is. Right? Right? Right, Spook? All right, so you can see that now the shark is really, really shiny because I want to do some of the painting down by the tail and I wanted to give it a good tri triple thick clear coat so that if I don't like what I do on there, then I can always just wash it off. So I have done some coating and what do you think? It's looking kind of... Wild, and I still have to cut the hole, of course. So here's where it is now. I think it's time to stop with the decorations. Uh, I think it's got enough color, enough motion, enough of all of that. And I think it's time to drill the holes to hang it. And then also time to cut the hole for the mouth and um, call this project finished before I overdo it. It's time to cut the hole, and so <laughs> here it goes. I've brought out Bill's drill, and I have a hole saw on it. So what this is, is it's a like a drill bit, and you change the size of the saw. The part in the middle 
comes apart and you have a set of different uh, circles that goes with it. I'll show you what the whole kit looks like. It came in a box like this. It was not all that expensive. I still have it wrapped up. I'm not sure why. But there are all different sizes. So this is how I get exact holes. I don't draw them and cut them. I just use one of these hole saws. It has a drill that starts out the hole and then the teeth finish up the hole. And then, of course, I'll sand it so that it's a little bit less ragged and jasper wants to come say hello because he's here watching oops okay and he's curious what i'm doing so i'm going to try and center just above where the natural kind of like belly button for this is and then after the hole is cut then i can see if i want to do a little bit more as far as making the eyes stand out a little bit there's a lot of breeze out here so i am not wearing a mask but i've got on my hearing protection and my glasses. So the next question is, do you bother to pull all this stuff out? And I'll probably pull some of it out, but some people say that you should leave a lot of it, that the birds actually like to make nests with it. So this is my big hungry whale shark. And this inch is about, this is about two and a half inches. And actually truly for wrens and I think warblers, you're supposed to have about a four inch opening. And you could have a larger opening, but not too small of an opening. Between you and me, I have a funny feeling that this one's not actually going to get hung out. It's probably a decorative item, so it's going to be okay if the opening is um, small. But if any small birds want in it, then they can they can get in it. So I have to decide if I want to do a little bit more with the mouth, if I want to do anything with eyes, or if I'm just good with it the way it is. Now, the really funny thing is, because I've been cutting gourds out here on the, uh, on the deck, there's some gourds growing <laughs> in the swamp behind me. So behind me, there's my garden, sort of, but a lot of the garden is dead. But down there are gourds growing in the swamp because of all the seeds that I've been putting out. So I'm going to put some more seeds out there and let them grow. And in a minute, I'm going to attach the hanger and decide if I want to finish off the mouth of this just a little bit. And this project will be done. Okay, here's what it looks like cleaned out a little bit and I noticed that you can see if you're really looking if somebody's really looking there they can see where the fins come in and join and I've thought a little bit about that these fins are a little bit flimsy and I might take some gel nail and maybe just like on the lines put some lines of that build it up a little bit to make it a little bit a little bit sturdier I'm, I might do that it means I'd have to put it under there and cook it under the UV light, but that could be okay. So now we need to go attach, figure out how, how this is going to hang. I think I want to hang it from the body and, um, do I hang it in two spots fore and aft or side to side? I'm going to, I might have to look up some ideas on that. So this is my big shark birdhouse. I think it's, it's coming out. Okay. Eventually, <laughs> finally, all right, next couple steps. I have added an eye hook here, just a little eye. Got a whole kit full of them. I don't know exactly what size it is. It's that size. <laughs> so I've got one here and one here so that it can balance. And I think I'm gonna string some fishing wire 
up like this and see if I can get it in the right spot. I might have to put an eye up here and adjust where the eye is so that it sits right. And then on the front, I just felt so bad about cutting the big hole, even though it's only about a two and a half inch hole, that just in case this is only going to be used for decorative, I took the plug and I put a little, um, I guess I should make that into the shape of a little fish, but I took the plug and I put some rubber bands around it and hot glued them on and made a little uh, handle so that if it's not going to be used outside, then it won't have the gaping hole. Uh, this really is only two and a half inch, which is about the size for a small wren. Uh, actually, wrens like four inch warblers, tree swallow, owl, house finch, and flickers are like four inch entrance height, which would be about like that. So this is a little bit smaller than that. Purple martin's like one and a half. Um, I did read that if anything, you go a little bit larger than the bird, so this would be a purple martin house. Maybe a wren or a sparrow, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. We'll just have to see who moves in, if anybody, or um, you never know. It might really just be intended to be decorative. I didn't want to ask. <laughs> so that it is pretty much finished, except for the string, and, uh, and then we'll be done. I wonder if I should make it look at nautical or fishing line. Hmm, I have to think about this. I'm getting closer and closer to being finished with the shark birdhouse. So I installed an eye hook right here, installed an eye right here. I strung up some line. You can probably already predict what's going to happen. It doesn't hang straight because of the weight of the tail. So I'm not sure if I like it that way, that it looks like it's swimming around, or if I should put a bit of lead or something on this side just to uh, even it up. It'd be a pretty good amount of lead, uh, a couple, couple sinkers worth. I'd have to go in through the front here and hot glue them over on this side, kind of like balancing out a, a tire. Yeah, I could do that. I could do that. I think I think I might. I think I don't think anybody's going to understand why it why it flies crooked. They might, but and you certainly can see it better when it flies like that. I got to think about this. <laughs> Almost finished. The other fantastic news is that I have a box for it. And the whole idea of picking this gourd was to make sure that it would fit in the box so that I can ship it and it still fits in the box. So that's a good thing. <laughs> Something to think about. Um, uh oh, the fin sticks up a little bit high. Boy, if there's anything that could have gone weird with this one, it has. I'll have to get a taller box. Guess what? It is finally done and it's hanging pretty straight. What I did was I opened it up and on this side, I put in two fishing weights, two lead weights to help weight it. I thought that would be the appropriate thing. And I simply have some twine on here. If it's going to be hung outdoors, they can put wire, they could put something a little bit more, you know, a little more substantial, but I think it's done finally. So thanks for watching. I hope you get some ideas from this, what to do, what not to do. And I hope you create your own shark birdhouse. <laughs> What a strange and unusual project this has been, but I really enjoyed it, and I know that the shark is going to a good home, so thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and uh, do, do click the subscription button so that you get notice of upcoming projects that I'm working on. They're not all going to be as unusual as this, but you never know. <laughs> thanks for watching. Bye. You're not going to believe this. You thought you saw the last of me. I think I even said bye. Thanks for watching. Uh, so my husband looked at this and said, the mouth is too big, which it's not. Um, that's how big it needs to be for the bird. But the other thing was he said it needs lips and it needs eyes. So I had to do the lips first and I used quick wood. And I don't know if you can see this, but I've got tape around it because I just don't feel like having to be so careful with my um, painting. So I did put um, tape around the edge so that I can tape a little bit quicker. I'm gonna go with the hot pink, see how that looks. And then once I get those there, the eyes are usually a little bit back of, and I looked up whale sharks. Whale sharks have long lips that go all the way across. 
and a really thin, so it's not going to have much of lips. But the eyes, I think, will be right back here. And I'm not sure, maybe a dark blue will kind of give the idea of the eyes. So I don't know if this is going to totally ruin the look of this thing or make this thing look absolutely fabulous. So day four of the shark bird feeder. <laughs> Who would have thought? All right, I'm going to get going on this so that I can hurry up and show you the finished deal. All right, so I painted the lips pink, and you can still see I've got tape around them. And then I painted that inside part blue, and I've got to put another coat and maybe put some little stripes on it to look like where the lips come together. And then I have to decide, do I leave the little plug the same, or do I paint it the blue? I don't know. <laughs> I guess I hate to paint over the color of it, but it probably would make more sense if it was blue with like a line across it. Um, so it doesn't look like it's eating a watermelon or like a God's eye or something like that. So here's kind of a funny thing about gourds. Sometimes in order to get the look that you need to make something look almost realistic, you have to exaggerate it a little bit. And that's what happened here with the eyes. The eyes on an actual whale shark are teeny little holes with just no nothing whatsoever but for this one it had to be a little bit more exaggerated and also whale sh sharks lips are just really slim but this one so this one's about to go in a box and go away so we have to enjoy it as much as we can right now how cute it is i wanted this to look kind of like batik in some of the places i want it to look sort of like fabric and um i texted the the recipient slash gift giver this is going to be a gift that someone has ordered for me to give to a dear friend and i texted her with pictures of it yesterday just to make sure is this what you had in mind uh, because I, I really did this blindly and um i said or, or did you have in mind more of like a scary shark and she says oh no this is great so this uh very non-scary shark is headed to georgia in a day or two as soon as I find the right size box because everything was perfect except for the top fin doesn't fit the box. Who would have thought that, that would be a consideration before you start to build it? So everybody say goodbye to the cute shark. I didn't name it because I'm not getting to keep it, but it really did come out kind of cute, I think. So bye again. Thanks for watching. I think this is the last time I'm going to show you the shark. Bye. Oh yeah, please click on any of the links below. I receive a small couple pennies on the dollar if you purchase anything from something that I've recommended and that's what helps me afford to run my channel. So thank you so much. Bye. I just realized what the whale shark's name should be Dexter because I watched the Dexter show all the way through the making of it. Dexter. That's a good name for a shark, right? Dexter. Dexter the whale shark. That makes it a boy shark, though. Hmm. All right, my box is all shipped, boxed up, ready to ship. Inside this box is another box, and in between each layer is some um, uh, of the like airy packing material. And a quick tip I want to give you is you can use your PayPal account to print out shipping labels, so you don't even have to leave home. You can print out your labels right at home, slap them on there, and put it out for your mail carrier to pick up, which is fantastic. It means I don't have to go anywhere. So I'm really going to miss, I had to box it up really quickly, I'm really going to miss the big shark. It was a fun project. I wish I'd done three at the same time because once you get the hang of it, it's easier to do more than one at the same time. But this is a, a, a one <laughs> very unusual shark birdhouse. So... Hi! Welcome birdies! <laughs>